matter how long you've been drinking, it's never too late to start doing so responsibly. Some of you got it down, but for the rest of us, it'll take patience and willpower. We hope these steps will help you through the process. Start by making a log. Every time you have a drink, mark it down. Include what you drank and how much. If you really need a wake-up call, try to add any behavior exhibited in your last drinking session. It's important to know how drinking affects you and others. Finally, you should log what it takes to get you drunk comfortably without losing control of yourself. This will reduce your alcohol intake by letting you know what is an appropriate amount to buy. Another way to limit your consumption is to buy smaller quantities, like individual cans of beer, smaller bottles of wine, or mini bottles of liquor. Buying large quantities of alcohol is sensible when you're throwing a party, or when a lot of people are involved. And when you're drunk, it's a good time to stop drinking. And don't start drinking unless you're in the right state of mind, not during periods of fatigue or major depressive episodes. And if you're on any prescription medication, play it safe. Don't mix it with alcohol. With that in mind, you'll be on the road to drinking safer at home. However, going out to drink is a whole other animal. If you're going anywhere to drink, always plan a way there and back. A designated driver is ideal, but not always reliable. Have an Uber or Lyft set up just in case, and have your home destination in place already. Be aware of what you're drinking. Factory closed containers, like cans, are a safe bet. And if you're offered something, ask what it is or the ingredients. Caffeine, multiple liquors, and sugars are best avoided. Pace yourself. For every beer you drink, drink just as much water. Or have a snack. Just make sure you have more than just alcohol in your system. Pressure from your friends is a major factor in your drinking habits. Know when to decline and when to step in. Your limit should be the same out as it is at home. Stop drinking when you're drunk. And throwing up doesn't mean you should go back for more. It means you should rest. And if you don't feel comfortable doing so at somebody's house, then it's time to head to your own. Make sure that your Uber or Lyft matches the credentials shown on your phone. Rest on your stomach or your side and keep a trash can nearby. The last thing you need to know is that it's okay if you don't succeed at first. This is a process and we tend to learn from our own experiences. Just be sure to own your lessons. I'm Alex. And thank you for adulting with me.